Hey everyone, this is Blake with Worn and Wound, and today Zach and I are going to give you a full hands-on overview of the complete line of Autodromo watches. Autodromo is a watch brand developed and designed by Bradley Price, a New York City-based product designer. And all of the watches in the Autodromo line are directly inspired by vintage Italian sports cars. And there's evidence of that throughout the dial case and strap design. And what's really unique about this line of watches is that Bradley's managed to create a watch that's uh, completely unique with no component of the watch being stock. That includes the strap, the case design, the dial design. He's designed it all from the ground up. The Autodromo collection consists of four models, uh, some of which come in two color variations for a total of uh, seven unique watches. And across the entire collection you have various uh, common elements, so I just want to go over those now because they'll be consistent throughout. You have uh, 42 millimeter lugless steel cases on each of the watches. Uh, it's the same case, but in some uh, varieties you have it in PVD. Here you're seeing it in a uh, brushed stainless. Uh, very nicely finished all around that case. It's uh, even brushing with a slight kind of polish around the top edge. Uh, they all have this uh, mineral crystal glass. Um, looking in, you can see uh, it's actually probably a little hard to see it in camera, but in person you'll notice there's a very deep chamfered internal bezel, which actually really kind of adds to the uh, gauge aesthetic of the watches. Uh, now looking in, they all have these uh, straps made of uh, black leather with a perforation pattern. Um, on the back of them you have this very nice kind of embossed Autodromo logo. Once again, just playing up that each part has been designed uniquely for the watch. Looking at the profile, now you can see the case design. Um, it's a very kind of simple and elegant design. You have a, a top piece uh, kind of mounting the glass, a central body. Uh, here you have a signed crown, and then a very flushly mounted uh, case back with four screws holding it in. Um, another very subtle detail is that the entire case back has a very gentle dome to it, uh, which just gives it kind of a little more comfort and uh, overall just kind of a very nicely finished feeling. You also have a signed buckle on uh, each of the straps. Um, overall, you know, one of the things that I think is really exceptional about the watch um, is, is the, the sensation of the high build quality. Uh, these are quartz watches. They all are all powered by Ronda Swiss quartz movements. And sometimes quartz watches can be a little light feeling. These have a very nice heft to them that uh, kind of really speaks to the, to the high quality build. We're going to take a look now at the Autodromo Veloce series, which uh, is powered by a Ronda 6003.D quartz movement. Uh, it comes in two varieties, a steel case and a PVD case, both with the same dial. Uh, taking a closer look now at the dial, uh, this is based on 60s uh, tachometer from Italian uh, racing vehicles. Um, and you can see that very distinctly in this kind of red line feature here, um, the kind of uh, crescent or partial uh, chapter ring indicating, you know, that that's readable for the time. It all expresses the, uh, the look of those gauges. Also, the, uh, the large kind of central uh, disc here, which is actually uh, functioning seconds hand, though it doesn't point towards anything, but that is where the disc is located. Um, perhaps uh, the most uh, distinct feature, for, for me at least, that I, I really enjoy is this uh, cut out uh, date window here, which uh, it's very small, but here's a giorno, uh, and that's where it's indicating the date. So right now it's saying the 12th. I'll actually just move that a little bit so you can see that more clearly. Um, I think it's a very nice uh, detail, very nice feature. You also have these two applied screws on either side of the uh, central axis, uh, which just add a little depth to it and also, once again, bring out that, uh, that aesthetic. Uh, another very subtle detail, in fact, it's so subtle, I'll probably be able to pick it up quite now in the camera, is that from uh, 13, which is representing one through to five, the index is continued uh, in gloss black on the black dial. Um, it's actually, it's a, it's a very, it's a very cool look uh, in person. Now we're going to take a look at the Autodromo Valle Lunga, which is uh, available in two versions. This all black version with a black dial and a black PVD case, and a brushed stainless version with a white uh, dial. Both are powered by uh, Ronda 4003.B quartz movements, which feature uh, three hand time and a big date. Uh, which is a, a, a very cool feature we'll look at in a second. 
Um, so now, just looking in, this is also based on uh, 60s and 70s uh, tachometers from uh, uh, Italian race cars. Um, and you can see that once again in this partial uh, index that ends with a red line. Um, one thing that the designer did here to kind of emphasize that look was really minimize the effect of the hour hand by having it match the dial and only have a little mark. So it's a little, it kind of disappears back, though it is still readable in my opinion. And then having this very large uh, minute hand, which gives you that, that look of like a single needle face. Uh, the second hand is then uh, in this bright red, just giving a lot of contrast. So here now at uh, 6 o'clock, you have uh, the date window. Once again, it says Giorno on it. And this has actually a little uh, indent, which is, which is nice, adds some depth. And I'll show you, so uh, when you set the date on this, sorry, one setting on. First it'll be moving the, uh, kind of this, the, uh, the ones unit. And then when you get to the 10 digit, you'll get them both to swing over. So there's actually two discs in there for the date. Um, some nice details on here too. This once again has this kind of a screw, uh, screw applique, um, autodermal logo, Ballalunga, Swiss movement. Uh, it's actually a very clean, very minimal dial. Uh, quite, uh, quite aesthetically pleasing. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the Valley Lunga Chronograph, which is the most recent addition to the Auto Dromo collection. Uh, it comes in two varieties, an all-black variety with a black dial, black PVD case, and a white dial with a brushed stainless case. Um, this is powered by the Ronda 5020.B uh, quartz chronograph movement, which also features a big date. Uh, now taking a look in at the details of the dial. Um, this is a Valley Lunga chronograph, so it actually shares a lot of common design features with the Valley Lunga three-hand model, uh, such as the kind of tachometer-inspired uh, uh, index here, um, large uh, central minute hand, and kind of uh, less obvious hour hand. And you have the addition of the uh, chronograph function. So on uh, this watch, you have these two uh, subdials. Uh, at around three, it's actually a little bit above the central horizon point, uh, which you uh, probably see here. Uh, you have the active seconds ticking. Um, this central red hand, which is going, is actually the the uh, the chronograph function. I'll uh, stop that now, so you can see that. Um, and then at nine o'clock, you have a thirty-minute counter uh, for the chronograph as well. Uh, now the chronograph function, uh, you know, two buttons on the side, uh, start and stop, uh, is at the top here, and then a reset at the bottom, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, so it's a quartz chronograph, so it's ticking uh, once per second. Uh, no surprises there. And here I'll stop it and reset it. I'll show you that when it resets, uh, the uh, minute reset actually goes around, um, I believe, 29 times to reset itself, um, which, is, which is just an interesting function of the movement. Um, now, uh, there's a couple of really nice details to the watch I really like, uh, specifically uh, this addition of inlays in the chrono pushers. Uh, I think this is a great way to kind of bring attention um, and a little bit just a, a nicer quality to, I think, an often overlooked uh, detail of, of, these, of a watch. Um, it actually also makes it, gives it a little bit of kind of a nice feeling when you push, uh, when you've kind of, you know, have your finger on it. Um, looking a little bit closer now at the actual design of these subdials, uh, so they have a little bit of a, of a kind of an impressed uh, circular, concentric, concentric circular pattern going through, um, which, is, which is very nice. And clearly, the addition of these two dials adds a lot of a kind of a kind of sporty element to the watch, uh, whereas the Valley Lunga 3 hand is a much more kind of a minimal feel. Once again, at 6 o'clock, you have the uh, Giorno Big Date uh, date wheel here, uh, which is a very clear way to present the date. Uh, so now we're going to take a look at the Autodromo Brescia, which is uh, only available in one model, which is a black PVD case with a black dial. And this is also powered by the uh, Ronda 4003.B Big Date Quartz Movement. Uh, this is perhaps the most minimal of the collection, um, only having an hour and a minute hand, um, and this very kind of Spartan dial with uh, no numerals save uh, in the date. Um, while you can clearly see how it could refer to uh, uh, the gauge uh, from a, from you know 
a vehicle, any number of gauges. Um, I don't think it's quite specific, as specific as a tachometer. It's just kind of in that style. Um, I really actually like this double line index he has. There's very subtle differences between the hours. So, uh, you know, every other hour has a slightly longer uh, shape here. Um, the hands are, uh, are, are very nice, so you have this hour hand, which is black with an orange tip. Uh, they're kind of, I guess, fence posts uh, shaped is probably the best way to describe them. And then the minute hand is this uh, larger white one with an orange tip there as well. Um, you have this kind of signature uh, screws, once again, on either side of the central axis, uh, going horizontal. Um, and then you have the big date window here at 6. Um, like I said, this is the most minimal. It's perhaps the most uh, sleek and, uh, you know, uh, has a very kind of uh, modern retro look to it. Uh, I think the it's actually a good place to actually kind of look at the, the, the way the PVD coating looks on this watch. Um, it's very even, very consistent throughout. Uh, it's over a brushed case, so it's, it's not shiny, it's not too matte, it's not too polished. Um, it's a very even finish. Um, it's very nice and obviously goes very well with the uh, the black uh, strap here. And now taking a look at uh, the Autodromo line on wrist. Uh, it's a very comfortable watch to wear that uh, fits, fits very well and I believe will fit a variety of wrist sizes very well. Uh, this is due to the uh, 42 millimeter uh, lugless case design um, which uh, allows it really to fit a variety of wrists. So I, I have a seven inch wrist, which is I guess uh, somewhat on the smaller size. Like I don't really comfortably wear a 45 millimeter watch. Uh, 42 I find I often like a lot and it's really aided uh, by the fact that without lugs there's no uh, overhang, there's nothing kind of cutting into the side. Um, this watch is marketed as being unisex. Uh, the whole line is and I uh, firmly believe that this would comfortably fit uh, wrists uh, you know, smaller than mine. Uh, just looking at the strap, the strap is very comfortable and very uh, nicely fitting. Uh, it's a 20 millimeter wide strap. Um, it's a uh, thinner leather than you know some of the like, kind of heavy duty aviator straps at about two millimeters thick, which I actually really prefer because uh, it doesn't uh, get very uh, hot or uncomfortable. I, you know, you don't find yourself wanting to take this off constantly. Hey, this is Blake, and uh, just real quick, I wanted to jump on and show you uh, the Valiolunga chronograph on my wrist, which is a little bit bigger than Zach's. I have about a seven and a half inch wrist, um, and we just wanted to show you that these watches really do fit quite comfortably people of you know varying wrist sizes. So uh, I have a little bit of a larger wrist. I, I do comfortably wear watches at 45, 46 millimeters, um, and you know not only does the the, do the auto journal watches fit well, but they don't look awkwardly small either. It really is a, a, a perfect size. And one of the nice things that Autodromo actually does is on their webpage, if you're curious about how one of their watches might fit on you, uh, they actually let you download a PDF uh, uh, sheet that actually has the watches in, in their real size on it. So you can print it out at home, cut it out, put it on your wrist, and see what it would look like, uh, and find out if you think it, it, you know, it's the right watch for you. Uh, now we want to take a look at the packaging that the Autodromo watches come in. Um, once again, uh, as, as with every part of the watch, they design the packaging uh, from the ground up, uh, which we really appreciate. You know, I think a lot of the packaging we, we look at watches, uh, though they're very nice and you know, supportive of the watch, they might just be stock boxes with a logo of a brand on it. Um, and what they did here by doing this uh, cylindrical case, which is uh, inspired by uh, vintage uh, camera equipment, um, packaging, you know, lenses and what have you, uh, they kind of just tie it into the, uh, the time period of the watches themselves. So now again, you have this kind of a uh, leather finished uh, cylinder with auto and dro Autodromo embossed on the top and the Autodromo logo here on this button. Uh, flip that open and you're presented with the watch in this kind of uh, red velveteen uh, interior. Uh, it's very, you know, it's one of those things you open up and you're just like, oh wow, look at that watch. So uh, the watch is mounted on a little uh, pillow. Uh, it's, it's nice, it's secure. Um, and then this comes with two uh, things. You have a little metal plaque that states uh, your warranty card, uh, you know, some information about the watch itself, um, and then a little instruction booklet about the watch too. Uh, overall, I think it's a very nice package that, you know, you might actually want to keep around after you've taken your watch out. So to sum everything up, the Autodromo line of watches are available on Autodromo's website today. Uh, the chronograph versions sell for $550, while the non-chronograph sell for $465. For that price, you're getting a watch with very high quality uh, components, excellent build, 
very unique uh, elements from the dial to the case to the strap all the way to the packaging that the watch actually comes in as well as a very well executed authentic uh, racing uh, watch inspired by uh, vintage Italian sports cars. For a full rundown on all of the watches, a little bit more detail of the watch company's history as well as where they're heading in the future, uh, be sure to check out our uh, full write-up on warnerwild.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, um, and thanks for watching.